Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is rewrite everything. So I have my A's in one column, my B's in another column, and my C's in a third column. So there's my first row, A's, B's, and C's. Second row, we're good to go. Okay, that's all lining up. Third row, though, I've got to move this A over here. So negative A, and then I have plus 6B, plus 2C, and that equals 14. All right, here's my A's, B's, and C's. Now, what I want to do is eliminate these three terms. That's a good start because if I can do that, then in the third equation, I'll have just a C there. I can solve for C, then back solve for B, and then back solve for A. How am I going to do that? Well, I notice that if I take the opposite of this and add it to A, I get zero. So if I take the opposite of the first row and add it to the second row, it will get me a zero in this term. And if I add a, a plus negative A, that's also zero. So row one plus row three is also zero. So I'm just writing that the opposite of the first row plus the second row, I'm gonna add those two, get a new equation, put it in here, and it's still gonna be part, amazingly, of the system. And then row one plus row three, row one plus row three, and put that here. So let's do that. So first row is unchanged. And we can reduce it further, but I think this will get us pretty far. Negative a plus a is zero. We've zeroed out. Negative four b plus two b is. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. Negative four b plus two b is negative two b. Negative six c plus c is negative five c. And negative twenty three plus two is negative twenty one. In the third row, we get a zero here. A plus negative a is zero. Four b plus six b is ten b. 6c plus 2c is 8c, and then 23 plus 14 is 37. And we're almost there. We just need to eliminate this term. I think the easiest way to do that, we have negative 2b right here, so 5 times that, 5 times the entire second row plus the third row should do it. So let's try that out. All right, first row is unchanged. There we go. I'm just rewriting it. Okay, second row is unchanged. Okay, there we go. And third row, so five times zero plus zero is zero. Negative 10b, which is five times negative two b, plus 10b is zero. So that we've zeroed out that term. And then negative 25 plus eight is negative 17, c. And then negative 105 plus 37. Let's go to that. Let's go to do it here. I'm just give it and use the calculator right now. Okay, negative 105, come on, Sean, plus 37. Negative 68, all right. Now here, what have we done? We've essentially restructured it, so now we know the value of C. We can solve for that, amazingly. So C, I believe, is four, right? Negative 68 divided by negative uh, 70 is four. And now we can solve for B. We know that negative two B, it says, minus five times C, so minus five times four, 20 equals negative 21. Let's solve for b, add 20 to both sides. Negative b is negative one, and then divide by negative two, b is one half. Then we know b, we know c, we can go back and solve a. a plus four times b plus six times c equals 23. So a plus two plus 24 is 23. All right, I think I got that. Extend page, there we go. 26, okay, so a plus 26 is 23. So a is 23 minus 26 or negative three. And if this were a point, I don't, I don't believe it is, and express that, but you could express it as a point. So a is negative three, b is one half, and c is four. Now a nice way to check this is to use a matrix on a calculator. Um, on the calculator, what you're going to do is enter the coefficients of these numbers, uh, not, sorry, not here in this form. So you enter 1, 4, 6, and then the result, 23. I'll show you this in a minute. 1, 2, 1, 2, negative 1, 6, 2, and 14. And the calculator can then tell you if you're correct. So let's do that. All right, so you might notice here it says matrix. I want to go there for a second. Go to matrix. I already have a matrix in there, but I want to fix it. Three by four, three is the rows and four is the columns, which is what we have, and I want to edit that. So go to edit the matrix. 
I'm going to have some numbers in here. I think I saw this one slightly differently. So we've got negative 1, 6, 2, 14. So negative 1, enter, 6, 2, and we've got the same thing. I'm just writing it a different way, and 14. I think I just had everything the opposite. All right, now I quit out. And to solve it, I go back to second matrix, and there's a lot of things we can do here. But if we go to math, it's called reduced row echelon form. So if I hit enter, and then I'm going to plug in the matrix. So go back here, and then say, okay, solve that matrix, and there it is. So what this says is that 1 times a plus 0 times b times 0 plus 0 times c is negative 3. So in other words, 1a is negative 3. a is negative 3. And then likewise here, 0a, 1b, 0c, add them together, and that's 1 half. So 1b is 1 half, and then finally 1c is 4. So negative 3, that's what we got, right? Negative 3, 1 half, 4, it's right here as well. Negative 3, 1 half, 4. So you can actually use this to always check. And that's reduced row echelon form. Notice they got zeros up here as well, which we didn't do. We just got these three zeros, and they get ones on the diagonal. We didn't do that. Um, but essentially, to get to this point, they keep going um, right here. They keep going here to reduce it to find out those answers, which is kind of what we did over here. We just did it in a different way, all this work right here to kind of back solve. All right, I hope that helped.